Let's see if we can't do something about my boredom. to go back in this airship and get business done proper but since we've come out here to the world map and fully healed and saved i'm gonna go in there and try fighting one of them captains again <laughs> and reclaim my honor well after i get in a random battle of course with some mises and a zombie they're like uh we're guests and uh we're rats uh thank you sir oh, i forgot i need to be doing this shit Kind of like how at the beginning of every new recording session of uh, TMVA Breath of the Wild, I have to remember like all of the controls. Every time I start up FF2 again, I'm like, oh yeah, I have to select abilities. At least somewhat. It's a tough balance, doing this enough to make our characters grow naturally throughout the game, but like not ruin the playthrough for y'all. <laughs> y'all are like, yeah, you're doing a bang up job, Uncle Tenfei. Yes, sir. Never has 1.5x speed ever been <laughs> so appreciated in a YouTube playthrough. Preemptive strike. Where at? Fail. Damn, he got a fat crit on that gas, and it didn't even take him down. Well, that just means we get another turn. Another turn, another dream, but always you. It's like a vision of love in Final Fantasy 2. Boys, when Preemptive Strike teams up with Wolves Can't Fly to do their cover of Real McCoy's Another Night, it's going to be, the lyrics are going to be changed to be about Final Fantasy 2. I'm looking forward to it. It's a shame I won't live long enough to see that band exist. If they've created like an AI Tenfei, of <laughs> like a horrific Black Mirror episode from scanning my videos, uh, then, yeah. Well, now I got, like, stats and shit, and I don't want to just get, get my ass kicked by one of these captains and then start over. Oh, uh, Lord, what have I subjugated y'all to? I didn't take any damage that fight. I must be real good at the game. I had no idea. Either that or my party's real good, but then again, who raised this party, son? Who made the decisions to tediously select things from a menu? Come here to me. I'm mashing the nothing here button until one of you walks in front of me. I don't want to get in a random battle. I was so close. Ha ha. All right. I think this guy would be real fucking easy. We should have changed our character's rows. Maybe made Furion or Gus a dedicated tank. But we're here now. We buttered our bread, boys. And now we have to lie in it. All right. I tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure you actually have your shield equipped. All right, you, my fine lady. She'll probably do more damage with a spell. Because, I mean, I know she's got that wear buster, but this guy's got defense like you read about. A defense quarterly, son. They don't see a need to put out a publication every month. They're like, we get deep <laughs> yeah, defense covered every three months uh, fairly uh, regularly. Gus might get a fat crit. Uh, you, Gordon, are just going to have to attack him? Oh, no. <laughs> Not Maria. Yeah. Yeah, going up against one of these guys is still a big mistake, I've learned. And it's not even being made into miracles. We should have buffed fear. Okay, I've learned. And I'm going to return by learning to the title screen. Okay. Okay, we're going to... Try tank tech. Is that what we're going to call it? Yeah. We could try to hit him with those special swords that uh, we've found. 
The Ancient and the Crescent. A lot of combo. Okay, here's... Take that spear off for now. Put the Crescent on. Because if we can sleep and or curse him, well, that, that'll that be a good thing. We'll keep Maria in the back row. Has she got a bow she can switch to? Oh, yeah, she's got the main a gosh, gosh, gosh. And Gordon. Gordon just stood there. We could leave Gordon in the front row to, like, tank one hit. <laughs> because, well, he, I mean, he can cure, but not enough to out deep. So, I guess we'll just have Gordon throw low-level elemental spells at him. Okay. What is Gordon holding? Gordon, what do you have? Gordon! He's like a dog. He runs off in the corner. I'm like, get that hellfire out of his mouth. He's gonna choke. Gordon, don't you know that ice shields are poison? Just like chocolate. Okay. I'm gonna kick the dog shit out of the next one of these fucking captains getting near me. Rebel curse! Is that all you could say? Those were your final words. So you've chosen death. I'm so confident that I'm still gonna do my getting buff abilities. Okay, here's the plan. Stan. Put the Ancient in his main hand, because I'd rather him get cursed. If we can land either of these, it'll be real nice. Oh, Maria. Okay, well, Maria... Well, he could shoot a bow and arrow at Maria, so I guess she's not, you know, perfectly protected. But, I mean, at least she won't get socked right in the gob, son. I can already see that piece of shit over there swearing on his mom. Okay, Asuna. Do a punch. And then blink. Blink yourself, I guess. You, my man, my dog, cast a blizzard spell. Why not? Preemptive strike! Oh boy, we get to have fun. Before this man decides that fun is no longer on the menu. Nothing. <laughs> we got nothing from our two swords. I mean, that's 22 damage. That adds up. Gus is easy to dodge now. Like Sunday morning dodging, boys. All right. Uh, we're just going to keep swinging with Furion and hope we land one of them damn debuffs. We're going to blink that boy. And you can just alternate fire and ice like, uh, what's his name there? From Boko no Hero. I think his name starts with a T. Oh, Gus, even with blink, <laughs> he couldn't take it. Nothing landed. Nothing deserved to land. Yeah, we might not be as powerful as I'm thinking we are. We might just be, like, adequately powerful. We're like a uh, big fish in a little pond, son. Okay, here's what I want to do. Put this shield on. See if you can just land that ancient sword on him while this crowd slowly <laughs> magics him to death. Oh, Lord, he took a hit at the very least. Okay. Cursed! That's a good thing. It's like we got everyone's favorite Star Fox command ending. I can't even make that as a joke because everyone knows the objective best Star Fox command ending is the one where Falco and Fox decide that they're tired of this fucking nonsense and they quit being Starfighter pilots and become G-Zero racers, which is basically F-Zero. The Good Friends ending, I believe they call it. Oh good, it did not much damage because he's cursed. We could probably bring Gus back to life and say so he could revel in all this joy. Okay, now when it comes to bringing Gus back to life, I like to cast life spell on him and I like to hope that it'll hit. With that shield equipped, it has less of a chance to hit, but I also don't want Firion to be obliterated. You keep deeps in that boy. And you work on keeping Furion's HP in tip-top shape, boys. All burned up. I think he has like 750 HP or, or something like that. I don't know. I could consort the ancient text, but it's much more difficult to do that other than just looking at maps. The ancient text is going to be a bit uh, annoying to navigate in these trying times, etc. Okay, tell you what, now. No, you need to heal Gus. I know you want to have fun swinging around your crescent and ancient swords. Who wouldn't? 
but Gus, I know he doesn't like to raise a fuss, but he needs help sometimes. God bless him. Gus gets two cures cast on him. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> if only I'd have thought or had managed to curse him in the original timeline where I got uh, humbled. We wouldn't have had any of this dire situation. Easy to dodge. Fat heals for my boy Gus. On Gus Day. Okay, I think we're at the point now where we could actually just equip a sword to beat him to death with. Or we could just put him to sleep over and over, but... The little kid from that Simpsons episode will be pleading with us to stop. <laughs> and he's already, in fact, dead. Gus just socked that motherfucker right in the cob. Oh, five hits for 60 damage. It's pitiful. I was tempted to fast forward the battle, but I won't do it. It's too satisfying. <laughs> bullying the now weak. He's not really weak. He's like more on our level. We're bullying the, the equivalently strong. Is uh, how you say it <laughs> when you're justifying yourself. Hell yeah. And that's how it's done. Now let's walk outside <laughs> and save. Oh, look at these little fellers. They're so cheeky. So we've got his Asuna up to level 5. Which means I promised y'all that I wasn't going to subject you <laughs> to constantly grinding it. Alright, what do we want to use on these guys? I guess we'll just hit them with a sword. Is that a good idea? Do you guys like hitting hit with fire spells? Oh, Gus is as soon as ranked up, too. Well, there you go. We're finally getting <laughs> the dividend. You're like, you say that every time. It's become part of the uh, Final Fantasy II TMVA specific 10 Face Secret drinking game. <laughs> Whenever I'm like, well, we're done, boys. We got them levels. Oh, yeah, they hate fire. That's good. They also love to blow up. They love blowing up, and they hated fire. Her fire spell got more powerful from how much they hated it. Oh no, who let you fucking things out here by the door? Barking at the mailman. Well, at least they're real bad at hitting me. That's a good thing. I'm still gonna keep leveling shell. Just so you know. All shell, as they say. Cast in a blizzard. Cast in a blink. Should probably put those spells on the top now that I think about it. Alright, this is gonna be a good turn. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh yeah, he's a punch boy. He punches Jerry. All right. It's just been a buy the book Final Fantasy 2 battle. With minimal cancel selected. This is the kind of battles I'm going to point to when the chief has me in there. <laughs> chewing me out once this playthrough goes live. I'm like, yeah, but chief, look at that. Look at Gus. He was a punch boy, chief. You can't deny it. Of course, the chief just yells for me to get the hell out of his office, which is how I know I won the argument. Okay. Unfortunately, we've used up a lot of the resources we gained by sleeping in that cottage. But, I think we'll be alright. We just gotta... We don't have to fight that damn heel giant on the way down, so we don't have to be as concerned. I think Maria's got more than enough MP to get her going. Especially now that she can just hit things with a stick and hurt them. Now that she learned that you can also injure people in the physical world and not just the metatextual. 
Okay, how's everyone doing? I'm gonna do an AoE cure once more, like that. Maybe just to top us off for the road. I'm doing this because, spoilers, uh, <laughs> Gordon might be taking a leave of absence very soon. Okay. Serious fucking business, boys. Get the hell out of my way. Oh no, not a couple of skellies that were up to no good. My neighborhood has never been quite so troubled. Oh, I actually <laughs> I was gonna have Gordon just attack because I knew he couldn't hit. But I made him target Furion for fun, I guess. All burned up. And additionally, all burned up. Oh no! He's slightly less burned up than I uh, originally gave him credit for. You can't hit Furion from the back row, stupid. Now he's dead. Alright, we gotta make some executive decisions on moving this crowd around. Get back in the front row. No, Gus, what are you doing back there? Okay. <clears throat> Furion needs to get back to spear training. So, Gordon, why don't you give me that trident? You can put this mithril spear on. Well, see, that goes up the... Yeah, the trident is much more powerful. In fact, we're going to make it Furion's main hand weapon. Boom. And as far as swords go... I mean, we can always put one in our offhand if we need to. So, Furion's one of them, uh, like, paladins that did, like, a year... A semester exchange... Uh, with Dragoon School. So they picked up a handful of Dragoon uh, tendencies, such as wielding a spear and being super fucking rad all the time. These things are mandatory. On the first day at Dragoon School, that's what the teacher writes on the blackboard. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna rearrange some spells. I believe Gus can punch that man to death, but Gordon, you go help him. Go help your big brother, Gus. Now, Maria, I thought for sure you could kill that fucking zombie thing in one attack. I've become real confident in your melee abilities. But when things like that happen, and look, Gus got paralyzed. He was so shocked. Okay, we got to clean up this mess now. Here, you finish off that zombie for Maria. It's like the big cheeseburger. It's like an L super burger. She could never finish it on her own. And there you go. Now is this the door? What did the ancient text say? I should have consulted them more thoroughly the first time I was kind of through here, to be honest. No, that's a trap door. The ancient texts have warned me. I believe it's this room over here. Well, a bunch of stunner rats. Hot damn. I still haven't remembered <laughs> to reorganize my spell inventory. I just now realized. Alright, you just kill that one. I just want to burn them all up with AoEs. Which means my boy Gus is going to have to bust out the Thunderstand. Or the mage staff, as it's officially known in the records. There we go. 69, dude! You get, like, bonus extra credit in Dragoon Skull. <laughs> when you land the attack for 69 damage. I can't wait till they make the Dragoon Skull anime. Dragoon University. Probably be a good name for it. Makes it sound just somewhat classier. Why do you have to stun Gus all the time when all he wants to do is AoE damage? Let the boy cast AoE spells. You monsters. Alright, Furion. You burn him up. Her fire will do more damage. But we do need to get some other spell uses. Oh yeah, why are you doing anything but Mage Stefan? Even Gordon can cast a humble fire spell. Douche, 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 douche. The stunner missed Maria. The stunner, nothing happened. Virion's gonna try to cast a fire spell. God bless his heart. 
once again, don't tell. Well, no, that's right. He's Paladin Red Mage, so... If Jesus finds out he's casting black magic, he'd be like, it's cool, man. He's fucking crossed all them eyes, dotted all them D's, man. It ain't no thing. I'm chill bureaucrat Jesus. <laughs> the best Tenfei character of all time. I've been wasting the most time and shit casting spells on this crowd when I should have just been beaten in the death to start with. I don't know if they have. Tell you what, this battle's gonna take fucking long. Maybe I will consult the ancient text. Uh, bestiary. <laughs> and be like, oh, what a stunner's hate. So that I can get through this dungeon. Where I got to select everyone's turn first. Everybody's killing a big yellow rat. These things are in Final Fantasy VI. It just dawned on me. Above the Opera House. <laughs> when Ultros is going to push that fucking weight on Celeste and the Opera. You know what I'm talking about. I think they're literally called stunners. Boys, you don't know how much it tickles me. For that to have happened. Where rat and stun or click on him, my god. Well, the battle's almost over and I've almost gained the knowledge I sought. They have no weakness. There's no particularly efficient method for taking them down. Well, thanks, ancient texts. You're very candid when you need to be. <laughs> I do appreciate that about you. That's all right. Look, this is what I like to see. Just a bunch of shitty fucking skeletons. And one guy, a zombie. That's how I don't know how to handle. That's what they taught me at Paladin School. How many more fights do you think it'll be before I remember to reorganize my uh, inventory? He needs to always be gaining sword skills, so put the Crescent Sword in his offhand. Always have the Crescent on backup. Why well, go to items when magic is what you wanted? Fire! Maria. Dear sweet Maria. I do want to save just a little bit of that MV. So we're actually going to have you melee. If you can believe it. I can't. Gus. Yeah, why not? And just for fun, even Gordon gets the cast fire spell because undead are weak to it. Undead hate it. We softened him up real quick. You missed, dumb shit. Here comes that red mage boy. Oh yeah, Gast fell into a fiery inferno. He fell into a burning ring of fire. Oh no, somebody else gets to kill that one. You just made Gordon angry. You just made his fire hotter. Wow. That's a resilient Wraith. Wraith resilient would be a good online uh, screen name for him. Agility up. It's uh, You never expect it. They're like summer rains. Somehow that triggered in my memory to remember to move my uh, spells around for easier cancel selecting. Maria's kind of pretty good as a black man. She's got three elemental damage spells. What else could you want? She's subbing white mage at the moment, but that's okay. We don't talk about it. It's like that one, once again, that one point you put in dexterity, son. Just don't bring it up. All right, so we've actually been on this floor when, when we got the crescent sword earlier. So it doesn't really justify me messing up so much, but at least y'all know where I'm coming from. At least make your blizzard spell a little bit stronger before you attack Maria. I think Gordon and Furion could take down that gas together with their spears. Spear bros! Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe spear bros, you know, got a little too much height behind them, couldn't live up to it. Tough being a spear bro. Everyone's blind. My boy couldn't see nothing. He was cheated. At least Gus <laughs> obliterated that rat. Rat punch. Rat punch, Gus. It's kind of a stretch. And his strength went down just to spite him. That's hateful. Okay, let's get everybody some of their vision back. 
boosh. We're just going for optional treasures right now. Dark bow! Is it time for Maria to regain her bow skills? Maybe. Let's see. Actually, this is a bow that can inflict darkness and has a really low accuracy, just like the other status ailment weapons. I just remembered that. Thank God. Oh, these fucking things. Love to cause me trouble. Misery and woe. That's what we should name them. You attack that one at the top. Maria, you get some thunder. And you get some blizzard. And <laughs> why not? You get some fire. And then just attack. I'm just going to put Gus on the bottom one and hope that he can Gus punch it and see if the other three crowd can't take that top one down. I th hope so. That big fat fucking hit. Yes, sir. Good job, Gordon. Four hits. And yet he moves. Not for long. Well, slap the dog shit out of Maria for fun. I hope she gets an HP up and a stamina up. Just to spite it. HP up? Well, she got one of those things. It's half spite. Once bitten, half spite, as they say. Luckily, my boy Gordon's packed the, the brim with level one cure. Oh no, he's almost got level two cure. The next time he casts cure, it's gonna level up. Gordon, you're no longer MP efficient. Okay, there's the princess. So when we rescue her, Gordon's going to escort her. Escort? <laughs> escort her. If to take the new word, I just generate it and split it into its equal parts. Okay. You think you're fucking somebody, don't you? You think you're hot shit for poisoning Gus? I just happen to know a little spell. That's name coincidentally has some similar syllables to Hakuna Matata. You're like, no, it doesn't. It's just, well, Esuna Hakuna. Yeah, it works. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, you smug. Quarrel. I refuse to call you Wear Panther. I wonder if there's a palette swap of them later in the game. Well, I don't wonder that because anything in all Final Fantasy games is going to have a palette swap. But I wonder if it'll actually be called Quarrel. It's like C-O-U-E-R-L or something like that. It's not easy to say. Lord, have mercy. Finish him off, Gordon. I'm so fucking proud of that boy. Even though he's the worst party member and I still secretly hate him. Son, I always make him the worst, Bento. I just leave the hot dogs as hot dogs. Son, it gets the message across. Boom. A bonus thief gloves. Hot damn. All right, I don't recall at what point Gordon will leave the party, so let's get in our final Gordon battle for now. All right, you crowd. I'm going to be real busy obliterating these undead. I do believe. All of them know. Remember, we still got to go downstairs. Remember that him downstairs, to be more specific. You attack that one. You attack that one. And Gordon, you burn them up. It's a good plan. Well, Maria. My God, sometimes even Furion just decides to one-shot <laughs> these smug undead. His paladin heart still beats. And Gordon, Gordon just sat there, paralyzed. How about another Gordon paralyzer? Blizzard, level up. Okay, Gordon, I'm gonna need you asshole naked before I shove you in there with the princess, into the princess's locker room. Boys. He'll never live it down. I forgot we gave him giant's gloves for fun. We gave him strength enhancing gauntlets as a joke. He's the wind blow of the party. He's like, my defense is at zero, making me the victor. 
min-max your spear skill if you're so great. Okay, we're going to use the Elastigoid's MP to get us just a little bit of HP. Got to burn MP to make HP, as they say. Only Gus needs it. And there it is, Cure 2. Princess is going to be so proud that you got a spell to level 2. She's going to be like, really? <laughs> they took the time? Alright, I'm going to make sure. Okay, yes. Everything's good. Princess, we're here to save you. The gate opens. Wow, I thought we were going to have to like pick a lock or something. Oh, we have to double the gate open because the NES. So that's Sid standing behind you, is it not? Okay, so I guess they called him when he was trying to run away in that airship. Okay. Oh no, we didn't get to talk to the... Oh, Gordon's still with us. No, I thought for sure he left here. Well, Gordon, you get to put clothes on just this once. You're lucky. I have a sneaky suspicion that we're going to walk in at some point. Gordon's going to be like, oh, I'm leaving the party. Call it a hunch. Hey, buddies. Hey, boys. No, no patience for men maxing today. Let's just take them down. Just like that. If only we had Edgar's auto crossbow. Or the Flash. Put two earrings on Edgar and use his fucking Flash where he pulls out a big old timey camera. It deals magic damage. And earrings amplify your magic. Well, look at that. Virian gained spear skill. She gained mace skill. I'm telling you. There's like a couple of potions over there, so <laughs> it ended always dead to us. Now this is the kind of fight where you want Maria to just kill everything with a fire spell. So that's what we're going to do. Preemptive strike! All burned up. Son, a oh, damn. I guess the split damage just took it down enough that they didn't get one shot. Which means my crew had to roll up with their melee. The melee crew, as we call them. Try not to share a room with if you can, and if you do, set near an open window. Once again, it's just by the book. All right, that's a big pack of fucks to have to deal with. And I don't care for it. So let's get them all burned up. Figured I'd leave a uh, little bit of AOE in there for y'all. Not fast forward through all of them. I missed the stairs. That's the power the dash button gives you, but it comes at a great price. These guys are just shambling towards us. Oh no, they're ambush shambling. Oh, they're trying to blind us. Only Gordon was swayed by cool sunglasses.
Maria gained shield skill. You love to see it. Once again, a big pack of fucks. Gordon's still blind. Gordon, you blind son of a bitch. Where's your hellfire at? <laughs> Why aren't you holding it? Yeah, we do need to give him that back since he's actually like following, coming with us through the dungeon. I've just completely misremembered at what point he leaves the party. This battle I will accelerate through the AoE, mainly because I took a drink of water during the last battle, so I don't need an excuse to sit here in silence. The moment I hand him this hellfire, he's gonna be like, so long, suckers. I've got that good shit now. In fact, let's just hand him a fire tome instead, now that he's awkwardly laid forth his Machiavellian plans. I guess we can unblind him too. Where is my Asuna spell? Oosh. Luckily, it levels naturally outside of battle too. So like I said, just min max it up to five so that it cures stone. And keep on keeping on, baby. Final Fantasy 2 ain't got to be a chore. Final Fantasy 2 is a privilege, not a right. Alright, do an attack. What do you got equipped right now? Okay, good. That's what we want. Let's see here. Get a shell charge. Then hit that boy with fire. Attack. Attack. Get some spell charges. Uh, Maria Solo on EMP from that damn captain fight. Oh, captain, my captain battle that we went through. So, ironically, being our black mage, <laughs> I'm just going to have her melee. And... You are going to... You two are going to burn that bottom one up together. Gordon and Gus magic party. You never expected it. There's not much happening. Okay, things are happening now. They're pissing me off. There are worse kind of things to have happen. Just means I get to level my Asuna spell now. Idiots. Checkmate. So look at that by the book. Gas burning. Step on the gas. Step on the brake. Everyone gets Asuna. You know it's not going to cure. Oh no, don't punch Gordon. I keep pressing like up or left here and you've got to do it different than that. you got to use like up and down. No, she couldn't attack through the blindness. Here we go. It's not going to affect himself. Hell yeah. Regained vision. Not effective. Oh jeez. Come on Gordon. Oh man. And he's poisoned. Bad day for Gordons all across the country. I just, I doubt Furion will go first, but I'm going to try one more time to Asuna that boy. We need to get those ailments off him Asuna rather than later. Oh boy, more money. Oh boy, I'm modestly wealthy. If only there was a store here in the Dreadnought. You'd think this place would have some kind of, like, company store that the miners could all belong to when they're loading 16 tons of number 9 coal. Don't tell the straw boss, son. Not unless you want a hearty, well, bless my soul. Two rats. Gonna kill two rats. They're not rats, they're stunners. 
actual rats are adorable. They're not little monstrosities that you just know are going, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the noise they make. When they do a, another re-release of Final Fantasy II that has voice acting added, not only to all the cutscenes, but to every enemy, they get like a Pokemon cry. You know that's the noise they'll make. Now, I don't want to deal with these smug fucking things. Maybe they'll just blow up. Whatever they did was not effective. Is that a good thing? I'd like to think so. Shell. Attack. Hold on. Since I earlier had the ancient text uh, brought up, let's see. I know the ancient text, when you zoom in, man, it's hard to move <laughs> around. What are these fucking things actually weak to so that I can more properly fight them? I want ancient text. Don't do this to me. How do you have this shit organized? Green slimes, green souls, imperial shadows, mine bomb. Okay, these things are mines, are they not? Yeah. Is it says they're weak to fire and thunder. Uh -huh. I'll believe it. Tell you what, I know just the man to consult. You might know him as a thunder staff, Gus. I secretly wanted you to make yourself blow up, idiot. You're playing right into my schemes. Even Gordon's three damage was part of the plan. Honestly, this is the best outcome. Because fighting these things is somewhat tedious. If you don't want to, you know. If your black mage doesn't have MP to burn. Next time we're in town, we're buying a couple of ethers. I know they're expensive. Henry's already putting together a proposal. <laughs> for why it's a waste of money. He's like, what if you get into the game and you've not got any inventory space to, to pick up either? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, Henry. Alright, we can just ignore this floor. Well, I mean, other than the monsters attacking us. I know how to deal with stunners. Especially when I get a preemptive strike. My god, she's insatiable. run past the steps. It's such an unnecessary step counter. Oh, hey, guys. And you ambushed us. <laughs> Could it get any better? Yep. Cast him blind. Well, it didn't hit everybody, so that's a good thing, I suppose. Shell yourself. Go ahead and get your damn sword and spear skill. And then... Let's just center this crowd up. Okay, this is an instance where I would like to just use Maria's fire. Although, do they get stat ups if they're blind and in a battle? I still don't quite know. I still don't quite understand it. The ancient texts can sometimes be quite hard to interpret when it comes to things like that. Burned up. Is that his second uh, skill up? Yeah, he's at rank three. How are you doing? You blind son of a bitch. Yes, yeah, sword and spear are still leveling. As always, it's a good thing. just walk past. I weren't even dashing that time. I just kind of walked past the door. Okay, this floor is where an ass beating once occurred in a previous life. I sense in a previous life that you got the dog shit whipped out of you. I'm going to make sure the ancient texts teach us how to properly get through. Oh, uh, the ancient texts decided 
not to have the little soldiers on it. <laughs> Sometimes the ancient text text have to test you. Oh hey guys, haven't seen you around in a while. Yeah, we know your fucking AOE spells. You love that shit. Just get me through this. Oh God, help me. Okay, what's the best course of action to deal with a pack of fucks like this? Let's shell the party for fun. You, Maria. Honestly, I just am going to have her beat one of the mages to death <laughs> with a stick. He's like, ah, fellow black mage, let us have a battle of magical skill. And before he can even finish the sentence, Maria's hit him upside the head with a shillelagh. She's like, oh, you daft bastard. The only magic you'll be feeling is the magic of icy heart rubbed on the side of your head to help with the uh, swelling. Does icy heart help with swelling? These are the things you ask yourself when you're playing Final Fantasy 2 for the internet. I want Gordon to kill that thing. Or uh, Gus to punch that Were Panther. I think Gordon could kill one of them smug fucking magicians with a spear. I'm going to believe in him. Maria. I was so busy believing in Gus that I didn't think to believe in Maria. Okay, at least we get Shell up, son. We got Lieutenant Maress up. She was supposed to have brunch with me. I sat in 10 forward for two hours. No cute cat lady sitting across from me. It was heartbreaking. Even Data shed one bionic tear for me. But it was a tear of joy because he secretly despises me. If you haven't been keeping up with the Tenfei narrative. Okay. All right. Everybody's having a lot of fun <laughs> dealing with this crowd. But we're over it now. All right, here's how we're finally going to deal with this shit. You're going to cast a Fat Cure. Maria's going to finish that crowd off with a Fire Spell. You're also going to do a Fat Cure. And Gordon's just going to make sure that thing dies. Oh, yeah. Burn. Burn. Never needed Claude Kenny here so bad to describe what's happening. Oh, no. Okay. Unexpectedly weak. We're going to get hit with one more pain and ass magic spell, but it doesn't matter because fat cures, baby. Boosh, 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 boosh. Okay, he cast a fire spell on us as if we care about such things. We've got Lieutenant Mares. No, Lieutenant Mares didn't protect Gordon from getting punched in the mouth, unfortunately. We'll have to count on that uh, Cation Doctor from that Lower Decks cartoon that I never watched. I think that's her name. K. Shin Doctor. <laughs> Our last name is Shin Doctor. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. I want that magician dead more than anything, so the two of you are going to make sure it happens. There. Why couldn't you have done that the first time I had you targeted? Uh, because the game has random variables and simulates like dice rolls in an RPG. Uh, well, maybe, but still. Oh no, and then there were just two piece of shit soldiers dying to have shit beat off. Here's the plan for this crowd. A big fat Asuna. You kill one of them. You res the boy. You res Gordon the kid. I miss Gordon the kid. The life that he had. The spear <laughs> slinging he did. I guess he must have got one shot it. Okay, everyone's alive again. Although my fat Asuna seems to have missed. I want everybody to have equal opportunity to skill up at the end of this fight. Let's see what happens. Hell yeah! Come on baby, big Asunas. No whammies. Alright, well she didn't have anything. <gasps> no! No, it hurts. I wonder if Gordon's going to kill the soldier or not. Oh, well, he got his Asuna off. I weren't expecting that. The old Asuna boys rolling up. Hell yeah. They're just some Asuna boys. Never mean to know. Well, Gordon, you did it to yourself because you hit him with 69 damage, which makes you king for a day. 
Look at the fucking skill ups, boys. I'm telling you, the more you get your ass beat in Final Fantasy 2, the better you're doing. <laughs> I can't hold all this good shit. And, you know, an antidote to potion, I guess, you know. They're nice, too. Listen to the super loud D-pad as I scroll through this inventory. You can't even use the joystick because I didn't calibrate it. Exit. Good for us. Okay, how's our HP holding up? Uh, how's our MP holding up? Jesus fuck Christ. Tell you what, <laughs> I'm going to use that antidote I was poo-pooing earlier. There you go, boys. Tell you what, Gordon, where's that fucking potion I found? You earned that shit, too. He's been a scrappy fellow, son. I can't give him no guff. All right, just keep on keeping on, baby. Nothing gonna break my stride. Oh no, stride breakers. Actually, it's just a bunch of punk, funkin' magicians. There's no reason why all of us shouldn't be able to one-shot one of them. Preemptor strike, baby. Dead. 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 Now that was a fun ass battle, boys. That was a good fucking time. Look at this. <laughs> That's fucking 10,000. You know what? I'm going to teach Maria Berserk now. I have to. So I can have inventory space. <laughs> My shit has become all but too good, son. It's going to be the fun times when we get Maria Berserk. I would teach it to her right now, but she has no MP to start, you know, I can't start grinding it in battle. I'm telling you, once we get through this place, we're set. Oh, God. Oh, you know who's going to save us from this battle and our sins? Our mortal sins? Gordon will, with his fire time. Throw the book at him, Gordon. They're all a bunch of shit heels. Don't kill too many of them before Gordon could save the day, by the way. <laughs> Alright, he should go before Gus at the very least, right? Nope. Alright, Gordon. Please save us from the two scary zombies. <laughs> save us, please. What's that on the wing? A hundred gill. Oh, please save us from some money, Gordon. Okay. I believe you keep going around the perimeter of this place. Even if you beat those captains, they don't like disappear off the screen, by the way, in case you're thinking that's how it works. Alright, I need that fucking thing dead. So two of you are going to make sure it happens. Damn, they must have like 75 or 80 HP. Okay, we all got hit with a little bit of thunder. You win. <laughs> when you get to hell, when we send the Emperor to hell, tell him we said hell, uh, he'll know what you mean. Emperor Matthias, I think is his name. I just always called him the Emperor. To quote Yugi <laughs> from Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, when somebody asked him about his grandfather, Solomon Moto, and he asked who the hell is Solomon Moto, and they had to explain it's his grandfather. <laughs> his reply was, he has a name? I can't stop getting good shit. I'm telling you, when it rains, it pours in Final Fantasy 2. Talk about a feast or famine style video game. How is my inventory holding up, by the way? Damn. Well, we know we're going to teach Maria Berserk, so let's go ahead and use one of these literally to get the inventory space open. Um, let's see. Let's hand Gordon some more shit just in case things get. Oh, yeah, we've had that fucking garlic forever. Garlic Gordon. I believe I came up with some weird, like, Ninja Turtles <laughs> action figure story based on it. I do recall. Here, just hold the hellfire because I know you want to. It's fucking bad. Um, gosh, you're going to have this. Now, here's the problem with getting Asuna to such a high rank. We'd use 5 MP when a rank 1 Asuna would do the same. We honestly should have taught Asuna to Gordon. 
when you're doing your Final Fantasy 2 playthroughs. Kids, don't make the same mistakes your Uncle Tiffany did. You kids are still young. You st kids could still min max. Alright, and that's how that's gonna go. I can already tell. Yeah. Alright, how's your magic holding up these days, Furion? God bless your heart. He's just a scrappy feller, son. Alright, we can get through this. We'd be in such better straits if I hadn't fought that captain, but we would have been so much less, uh, like, inner character. Inner strength. Preemptive strikes are good when all of us can just beat one of these things to death. I remember these things were in Final Fantasy XI, and I never actually fought one. I would see them... You had to, like, run to Juno at level 20 because you wanted your Chocobo license. But if you died along the way, you would lose experience and potentially de-level. It was a fucking nightmare. So you would just change to a different class, strip asshole naked, and just run. It was like a 30-minute run across the zones. Or maybe even more because you had to dodge high-level enemies. God, what a mess. I'm still so no genuinely nostalgic for it, though. It's the sad part. Oh, Gordon could have used his garlic right there. What a waste. The one time you wanted your garlic Gordon action figure at hand and you couldn't find it. One hit. 15 damage. I'm on the edge of my fucking seat, boys. A genuine undead slobber knocker. I think that's what they called it whenever the Undertaker wrestled. Man. Just enough HP that Gordon can't one-shot him. Just enough to not be shamed. Maria became somewhat agile all of a sudden. Can you believe it? I can. But the magic levels don't lie, boys. Okay, in this room, is it finally the engine? I can throw this fucking torch in. Can I strip Gordon ass all naked yet? I'm going to preemptively strip Gordon ass all naked just again. I don't think you fight a boss here. Do I have enough room to strip Gordon ass all naked? Take the most important things off of him first. Yeah, I think we got just enough. Do we just leave the gar- He is Garlic Gordon. Why take the garlic from him? Why cheat him with that one thing? And how are your magic skills right there? There you in Garlic. Garlic? Oh no, we it's like Lieutenant Broccoli on TNG, son. It's the Dreadnought's engine. Well, I have Sunfire for the Dreadnought's engine. The Sunfire is thrown into the Dreadnought's engine. I like that they don't really have the technology to show that, so they just have to tell you. It's the Dark Knight, our nemesis, son. He's like, whatever, you losers didn't win. Oh no, Maria thinks the Dark Knight sounds suspiciously like her brother Leon, but that would be stupid and dumb. There's no way. All right, we're hauling ass out of here, boys. It's it's basically using the warp spell for us, but cinematically. I like it. Sakaguchi knew what he was doing, boys.